Binge Pipe is honored to be the new home of You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Some of these new streaming services have to succeed, right? Cookie Masterson here. I'll be hosting the game, and at the end, maybe you'd like to invite me over for dinner and uh, introduce me to your nicest aunt. Uh, just us? Well, can you uh, turn the lights off? I'm a, I'm a little self-conscious. Okay, it's time. Time for question one. First question. Watch your language arts. So Netflix has this show, The End of the F***ing World. Apparently, you can say anything now if you just beep it out, which is totally f***ing with Oop, sorry, my elbow slipped on the beep button. Anyway. Name the poet who would describe the end of the f***ing world as a battle between fire and g ice. Robert Percy William or Emily Dickinson? Hope you like what you picked. Robert Frost wrote the apocalyptic poem, Fire and Ice. You know, I gotta hand it to him. He took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the f***ing difference. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This one's known as Candy Republic. Suppose scientists discover that peanut butter is sentient and can feel pain. Look, it could happen. How might this influence the candy industry? It would affect Reese's sales. It would affect Reese's sales. It would affect Reese's sales. Or it would affect Reese's sales. Let's see how that shook out. Affect with an A is the proper verb, and Reese's is spelled like, well, this. Remember, there's no wrong way to devour a sentient life form. Why don't we do it with three? Try this on for size. Girls, 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 and it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven titles, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a painting by acclaimed Dutch painter Johan Vermeer, or one of those girl thriller novels that are so trendy. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Vermeer or a girl thriller. All set, here we go. Girl with the pearl earring. The girl on the train. Girl in the dark. Girl with a red hat. Girl with a wine glass. The good girl. Officer and laughing girl. That was nice and forgettable. Now let's keep going. It's time for what to enjoy. Oh, that sounds gross. Oh, wait. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you watched Better Call Saul, we thought you'd enjoy a story in the Hebrew Bible about an unbeatable giant, a heavenly prophet, an Israeli king, or a Philistine soldier. Okay, let's take a look. In the Hebrew Bible, Saul is the first king of Israel. Saul fell on his sword to escape defeat, which is one of the few ways to cancel your Binge Pipe membership. Why not try dying to get in? The worst part about being immortal is that timeshare presentations go on forever. What would be the most common visitor review of the Hotel Transylvania if it also happened to be the most common blood type in the world? A positive, feel like I died and went to Hampton. A negative, great, but halls blocked. And how do we do? Well, over one third of the population has O positive blood, making it the most common on the planet. That's it for round one. I just can't wait to see who wins this one. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Okay, let's hit it. 
Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up next, screaming for merci. What would be a geographically accurate subtitle if FX did a spin-off of American Horror Story called French Horror Story? FHS Frankenstein's Monster, FHS Opera Phantom, FHS Headless Horseman, or FHS... Di okay, what'd you pick? The Phantom of the Opera was originally published by French author Gaston Leroux in 1909. I'd watch French Horror Story just in hopes of seeing a haunted bidet. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Sept. Behold. You can't curse in heaven. If Kristen Bell's character from the sitcom The Good Place read the Pulitzer Prize winning novel The Good Earth, how would she likely describe it? It's about forking Chinese farmers. It's some bullshit set on a rocket ship. It follows an ash hole through the American Revolution. Or, the French ghost is a total bench. I love this part. Pearl S. Buck's 1931 novel, The Good Earth, takes place in turn-of-the-century China. Hey, Christopher! We'd like to initiate a moment of playful interactivity. Would you like a short question or a long question? Indicate your preference now. You have engaged with the process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's called a short question. Who is the shortest cast member from The Big Short? Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt, Steve Carell, or Selena Gomez? So what'd you pick? At just 5 foot 5 inches, Selena Gomez is the smallest celebrity in this big name film. Okay, Marissa Tomei is in the movie, she's 5'4 and a half, she's shorter. The point is, Gomez is in the movie, and she's shorter than these other dudes. Take a good look at... Let's just talk about Idris Elba. In which of the following roles could we see Idris Elba exiled to the island of Elba? Idris Elba as the world's coolest Napoleon Bonaparte? Let's see how that shook out. After being forced to abdicate the French throne, Napoleon Bonaparte was famously exiled to the island of Elba in the Tuscan archipelago. I call this one Goo Goo Gaga. If a pregnant woman wants to make sure foul language isn't the first thing her baby hears, which of the following movie nights should she skip? Watching Seven at Seven Weeks, watching Twelve Monkeys at Twelve Weeks, watching 25th Hour at 25 Weeks, or watching The 40 Year Old Virgin at 40 Weeks? I love this part. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Around week 25 and 26 of pregnancy, babies start to hear sounds from outside the womb. It's also the best time to introduce your baby to actor Barry Pepper, so tough decision. It's time for... Well, don't mind me then. Here's your clue. Made by a beautiful partnership. Try to remember what things these duos produced.
says, You survived a whole game by yourself. Amazing. I hope you found whatever you were looking for here. 